This is Dr. Chris's radio horror program on 91.3 FM, WCUW in Worcester, with a recorded interview with voice actor Larry Kenny, best known for his role as lion on Thundercats. But for you horror fans, he's also the voice of Count Chocula from the Serial <laughs> Commercials. Thank you, Larry, for sitting down to do this interview at oh, Super Mega Fest. It's my pleasure. It's nice to see you again this year. Thank you. Larry, how did you get involved in the voice acting uh, community? What was your first role that broke you in? Well, I, I started in radio as a disc jockey... Uh, when I was 15 years old, uh, back in 1960. It touches me working in radio now. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. I started in Peoria, Illinois, my, near my hometown. And, uh, and uh, it was 1963. So I started, you know, I was playing the, the Beatles and the Ronettes and things like that. Uh, and I uh, had always been the class clown, believe it or not. And I had always done <laughs> cartoon voices, character voices, you know. I would watch uh, guys like Jonathan Winters on TV and and then, you know, do that kind of stuff at school. So it, I started using that on my radio show. And then when I got to uh, the bigger cities like uh, Cleveland and Chicago, I started doing commercials. And um, because, you know, being on the radio led itself to that. People would call me and ask me to do commercials. So, that's cool. So I got to the point finally after many years that that's all I was doing this. You know, that hasn't worked out for me yet, though. <laughs> well, you know, you got to hang in there. It's tough business to break into. Oh, I've been there for six years. Yeah, it, it's, it's. I was very lucky that I that I started in radio. And, and How? What? What year was that? Sixty-three. Okay, yeah. So there's a big difference between 1963. Oh, and yeah. 2013 with uh with the, with, with uh, radio not being as popular as it used to be. Yeah, it's yeah. still very. It still seems to be very in business more than newspapers. Yeah. I don't hear radio stations going out of business. I hear newspapers <laughs> being bought out and going out of business. That's but I'm not hearing on the on the news every five minutes saying, Oh my god, WKLO, famous for being a hundred years on the air, they're out of business. No, they're still going. That's a good point. People still gotta pay for advertisement somehow. People gotta drive in their cars. You got it. Um, I, talk a little bit about Thundercats, which is your, probably more, your most famous role, would you say? Uh, if, as far as animation goes yeah. and, and the cartoon shows, yeah. Uh, what would you like to know about? Did you think it was corny at times? Sometimes I always, even as a kid, I was just like, "Oh, that's yeah. that's kind of silly." Yeah. But I, I still, yeah. I mean, it was it was always it was always that moment when Lionel would break out those, you know, the uh, the uh, the sort of omens yeah. and call on the Thundercats for help. Yeah. Oh, sure. We thought it was uh, sometimes corny, but we had remember we were doing it for kids. You know, it was it was, it was after all a kids show. Uh, and by today's standards, it's certainly corny. You know. Uh, but um, it was all right. I mean, that's, that was the nature of the beast. You know. Count Chocula. Uh, I didn't even realize that there were. Uh, <laughs> I didn't realize there were uh, commercials for that until like last year, and I was just like, oh, going back in my mind, looking on YouTube. Uh, where, where did you uh, Where did you find your inspiration for Count Chocula from? Was it from other past great vampires? Well, actually, I, I, I got that role by auditioning, like you, you do for all commercials, and uh, that was a no-brainer because they wanted. Uh, somebody to, to re- replicate the original voice, which is a guy named Jim Dukas. Oh, okay. He had been doing it for 20, 25 years, and they said, we want the exact same thing. We don't want to change the voice. Okay. So I just copied his voice. And the same thing for, for uh, Cocoa Puffs, for Sonny the Cocoa Puffs. For, uh, uh, Chuck McCann had been doing that voice for years, and then he moved to the West Coast. So uh, I didn't have to come up with anything new for those two. Can you give us a little Count Chocula? Count Chocula cereal is coming your way. How about a monster for breakfast today? <laughs> that was great. Thank you, Larry, for uh, taking this time out to talk with us for a few minutes. My pleasure. Nice to see you. All right. So, my wife, Carol. Hi, Carol. I'm Dr. Chris. I do a radio show on uh, that station. We're going to do a little sound bite for you. Where'd you get this device?